Hi, this is Mike from Mike's and Mike's and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the filament on your Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to change the filament on your Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. This is going to be very similar across most of the Bamboo range, so if you're using a different model, then this should be absolutely fine. And you're probably wondering, well, why do you have to change filament? Well, because if you want to print in different colors, it's kind of the thing you have to do. If you're lucky enough to have one of the combo units where you have the four colors in, most of this is done for you automatically. But if you're using a single color, then it's a relatively straightforward thing to do. And there's two ways you can do it. You can do it from the application itself, which you can go through and do all the settings. Or alternatively, probably easier for most people is to actually use the touch screen on the front of your printer. So let's do this now and uh, show you how it's done. So we'll start off with the actual touch screen display. Hopefully you can see that nice and clearly. So what you want to do is to press the filament button and it will currently show you what you've got actually loaded. So currently we've got some Bamboo Labs basic PLA and it's currently set as being black. Now if you want to change the settings of what filament you're using, press edit and then you can choose your specific type of filament. So whether it's generic, whether it's Bamboo Labs. So if we go to there, so Bamboo Labs. And we are using PLA Basic. And press OK. And there we go. So that is our spool setup. So if you want to actually change it, you have to press the unload button. And then what it's going to do is it's going to first of all heat up the nozzle a little bit. Then it's going to check where the filament is actually in the print head. And then it's going to try and cut it. And then we can go ahead and pull back the filament. So now it says action required. Please remove the filament from the extruder. If you're using an AMS later, please connect the PTFE tube to the coupler and tap retry. So in order to remove the filament, just grab the filament on the side and just gently pull it back. the tubes and you'll see it coming through the tube as it goes through because the tube is transparent and there we go so that is removed now so we can take this spool away so now we can get our other spool and find the end of it so have the end coming off the bottom of the spool put it onto the spool holder and then gently feed the filament into the tube and just keep on feeding it until you hit resistance at the end. Now we can go back to the touch screen and press load and again it's going to heat up the nozzle. Now you get the message saying please feed the filament into the PTFE tube until it cannot be pushed any farther. So basically what we did before and now you want to look at the actual extruder and see if any filament is actually being pushed out which when you're doing it you'll see it lightly coming out through the head and when that's done press done when you can see the filament coming out and then it's going to go on and then try to purge the old filament. And as you can see, that is the old black coming out. And it's now starting to go white. So we know we've gone from our previous filament to the new one. And you can see there's a little bit still coming out there. But that is effectively done. You will see on the screen, there is a little green indicator. And that is what tells you if the filament is actually in the correct place. If the green light isn't there, it means it isn't sensing any filament. Like I said, you can also do this from inside of the Bamboo Labs app. So if you go into device, select your specific printer, and you can check here, you've got PLA. So if you want to change the colors or change anything or edit it, or whatever, you can do those things, but you can use the unload and also the load commands. So currently because it is loaded, and we're showing there is a dot there saying it's all connected up. So we can load because it is currently loaded. So you can choose the unload. And again, it'll go through and do the same thing. The 
information will be replicated on the screen. So ideally you kind of do whichever works for you. If you're right in front of the printer and it's nearby, obviously do it that way. But if you've got like a little farm of these things and they're tucked away somewhere else, then you can just go by the section on here. So on this section here, I've just pressed the unload button just so you can see what it's like. So with the filament pulled out very slightly, you can see the unload is greyed out. If we push the filament back in, it will sense it. Now unload is illuminated again. So depending on where the actual filament is in the tube, there is a sensor built in to help you with the process. At this point now, you've changed over your filament so you can get your old filament and store it carefully. Ideally in summer, which isn't very damp or has a lot of moisture, you can put it back into the original box if you want to. I would suggest putting in some silica gel as well, just to absorb any moisture. Best possible scenario is to put this into some kind of plastic container, which is airtight, and that way your filament will last considerably longer. So there you go, that is how to change the filament on your Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. Hopefully the video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.